Okay, so can do team is Lisa, Anissa, and Rania. Do you guys want to go? Yeah. Hello, everyone. We are Lisa nice. and, and Rania, and we're in the can do team. We're really interested in learning about everything relating to the environment and how to protect it. Day by day, animals get injured or killed, and insects get killed too, which can lead to serious consequences. For example, if we, if we kill more bugs, we then damage the ecosystem. Animals are hunted for, and at the end, they are eaten or on trees and used to make furniture, for example. Problem three. People don't care about the small animals and insects that are relevant and play a huge part in taking care of the environment. Community. Community to, to us is our team, the children in primary schools and the children in London. Partnership. As part of the Keeping It Wild project, we have created an interactive and fun platform for many children and young people at Spresa program to join learn more about nature wildlife and conservation Albanian classes in the beginning of, um, of our session we present in front of all Albanian classes and express our program learns for younger and older participants where we we got to explain what our team does run games and talk about wildlife conservation and nature Environment Albanian classes. As part of the Keep It Wild project, we have created an Albanian class cohort that teaches children to al the Albanian language with a main focus on the environment, nature and nature conservation. Sports sessions. We have created with London Youth sports sessions every Saturday while ch children are taught to stay active, go outside and appreciate nature. We participate and present in those sessions as well as play games. Events and participations. We participate in many events introducing our projects and what our team does. We also have presented in front of politicians such as the ambassador of Kosovo and Albania, in front of well-known influencers, artists, public figures and all the Spresa family in the Kosovo event. Albania's Independence Day, New Year's activities, etc. What have we done so far? Take a look at our work. We have created posters and done a lot of photography for nature. We have written letters to friends to join us. We have created a Flickr gallery with all, all our work and done collages and inspiration sheets. So, solution. What do we want to achieve? What we're hoping to achieve is to protect small animals, insects and birds, and to help them survive. How will we achieve this? By handing out boxes full of posters, comics, tools, to create birdhouses, for example, etc. Doing environmental arts and crafts clubs and workshops in primary schools. Volunteer at animal shelters and raise awareness on volunteering there through helping injured animals. How, how have we found out and researched the benefit? We think that these solutions would benefit these innocent creatures as they would apply their needs. They would create a safer environment. We have researched and, Lon and London Wildlife Trust website as well as attended a session with Headlines UK on photographing wildlife and nature. How will, how will we spend the money and budget? We'll spend our money and budget on the following things. Resources, the boxes, comics, etc. So altogether we have £600. The cost for the art tools are £72. Boxes, £48. And birdhouses, £36.48. 40 our goals. At the end of this project, we aim to have sent our boxes organize the clubs and raise awareness by designing posters, painting pictures and doing art artworks to deliver messages about nature and the importance of it. Well done, guys. That was really impressive. And I can't believe the amount of work you guys have done since. When did you start this project? Was it October, November? It was December. 
December. Yeah, that's amazing. So you guys have done so much in short, such a short amount of time. So well done, everyone. Um, I guess, yeah, I just wanted to say well done first. It was really well presented, um, really clear your ideas. I really like the idea of being like, here are the problems and here are the solutions that we had. I guess my first question, though, is who are the boxes going to be going to? Maybe like... Um people in our neighborhood like people in our community mm -hmm. kids and people who are interested in like saving nature through art cool and is that through the albanian uh, schools that you will do that through so like for the younger groups or as it we'll see yeah uh i really really like your idea of, of kind of using sort of creative tools like comics and things like that to and posters to be basically showing, um, sharing knowledge and um, generating awareness around the issues that you've identified in, in your presentation. How will you, um, how do you think that you'll kind of measure um, the success of the work that you're, that you're doing? Like, um, how do you know it will have, a, uh, have an impact on the people that you're sharing the, the boxes and the posters with? So we, inside the box thing, we aim to like put a, comics book so I think this would make like children interested in it because like figures and like funny stories and stuff and I think it's kind of fun like making bird houses and painting them so I think it's kind of entertaining and they will think like children will think that it's entertaining and there will be like saving the nature as well. I have a, I have a small follow-up question if that's okay um do you on your comics and posters and things have you decided which um which uh wildlife species you might want to to showcase at all we haven't like specifically decided yet but like animals and trees and like foxes so a wide selection yeah yeah great amazing i I thought this was such a great idea and it's uh, got so many different elements to it. It's like very creative, um, but also really great for young people's like mental health and well-being um, while raising awareness of the environment. It's really great. Um, so when you send out the boxes to the young people, um, this is my question, so will there be a chance um, for the young people that might not be involved in your work to then maybe come and join you and uh, maybe like create some of the artwork and um, um, like carry on, I guess, their journey with you. So would there be a chance, so um, say you send your boxes out to young people um, that might not uh, have worked with you before or um, be like very engaged with nature, would there be a chance for those young people to then kind of work with you and come come and join you? So I think we should, like, make people aware of what we're doing first. And then if they're interested, we're going to send the boxes. And yes. are more than welcome to join us. Yeah. That's amazing. Can I go next? Is that all right? Um, you mentioned in your presentation, which I thought looked really, really good. I thought it was an excellent presentation. Um, but you mentioned in it the, the day you did with the headliners team and the photography um, day that you did so I'm kind of just interested to find out what you kind of learned and what you enjoyed about that day and how how that helped you with your project so far. So we're taught to take photos and all that and through all this journey like um, participating in all this I, at first we started like oh yeah we're saving nature but then we kind of got into it like really not just like a a sentence like we're saving nature but we really want to do this yeah cool yeah excellent so did it help you come up with your kind of project idea then yeah yeah it really helped good excellent thank you also a follow-up question i know that you guys have done such amazing work and also with the Flickr page so how are you guys going to shout about all of this amazing work that you're doing like how will we how will you share the story of um candy yeah, so like Amina said, social media, um, websites, um, with maybe a post with either comics, um, talking about how, like telling a story and uh, 
delivering a message uh, to tell the readers to save the environment or posters, artworks to talk about us saving nature, basically. And, and what was the, that's so good, and I think that's really important, and it sounds like you've made such a big impact already. Um, what was the feedback that from the independent, that Kosovo Independence Day and the groups you've spoken to? I know you've spoken to loads of people about it already. What have people, what's been the feedback from that? Um, for the Independence Day of Kosovo, uh, there wasn't, um, there wasn't really any feedback. There was just, there was just people saying well done to us and you did an amazing job like you've shared a lot of information it's really important and they also more people signed up didn't they as well which is really good <laughs> well done guys thank you